IDOR stands for Insecure Direct Object Reference. In the context of an application, an internal object refers to data or resources that are stored and managed by the application itself. These objects could be anything that the application uses internally to keep track of its information, like database entries, files, documents, user IDs, session IDs, and API resources. Imagine you have a locker at school with a special number, like 123, and you use that number to get your stuff. Now, let's say the school website lets you type in your locker number to see what's inside, like this. You type in 123, and you see your books and lunch. But what if you change the number to 456? If the website isn't careful validating your input, it might let you see someone else's locker. That's an IDOR vulnerability. It's when a website doesn't check properly who's trying to look inside. Now, let's look at how an attacker might actually exploit this vulnerability. The attacker analyzes the input parameters in the URL, form fields, or API requests. Then, modifies these input values, for example, changing a user ID. If proper access controls are missing, the attacker gains access to data or performs actions they shouldn't be allowed to. IDOR vulnerabilities can be extremely dangerous because they can lead to unauthorized data access, privacy violations, and even account takeover. Depending on what object is referenced, the impact can be in the form of viewing another user's personal information, gaining access to another user's account, or modifying or deleting data belonging to another user. To prevent IDOR vulnerabilities, developers should implement security measures like access control checks to confirm if the user has permission before accessing an object. Then implement input validation and sanitization to ensure that user inputs are properly validated and sanitized. Additionally, using role-based access control to manage what data users can access based on their roles. Different tools can be used to find IDOR vulnerabilities like Burp Suite and OWASP SAP. I hope this video helped you understand the IDOR vulnerability. Friends, remember to activate multi-factor authentication and I will see you in the next one.